And what's the point of blue? Okay, so maybe this will make this game easier actually. I'm missing something terribly important here. But does it mean that can be like multiple truths for each episode? This is so weird and that's why it's complicated for reader as well. What kind of mushrooms you took? Okay, so we have confirmation of Kinzo being actually alive? Hello and welcome Pocket Watch here and it's about time for another episode of Umineko. So yeah, let's just go to the episode. I don't want to talk too much because I'm pretty hyped up to see what's going to happen. Also, uh, thank you for your support. You actually liked my episode about like theory about episode one and I'm really happy about this. There's some doubts. I uh, forgot about Natsuhi received and uh, stuff, but as I said, this is like basic, uh, rough, um, like baseline for my theories and I think I will be okay. So thank you once again and let's go. Let's see what was going to happen. Let's follow up. Let's hear more of the... How, what was his name? MK Zaki music? The jazz man, the blues man. Game Shuriyoji to a game nine no rock and jima jikan de. Thank you, Yako Hachiju Rokunen. Jugat itska. Niju Yoji zero zero fun to you, Ninshiki de i. Okay. Also, what I found interesting uh, Beatrice is not here. In the tip menu this time. She was always here. Like in every episode before. On like... Ushiromiya's side. And she's now only here. Oh yeah, and we have like... Three now of this. Problem. <laughs> すべての謎についてトリックセツを主張できていて、かつ、yes。魔女側から反論がない場合、人間側は勝利を宣言できるものとする。問題ない。もう少し厳密とし。more no amount of time would mean like you can just stalemate this forever. Wow. Wow, this is like very harsh. Angie is going into this, god damn it. That's good. Wow. And it's like awfully the last time. Like if you you don't have time to like think about complicated stuff then. Oh yeah, that that's going to be hard. Like the web truth of Fred. One minute to solve it. Woo!ゲーム終了時、人間側は与えられた謎に対し、一分間の反論時間が与えられる。その時間内にたった一つであっても反論されない謎が残った場合。yeah, okay, come on, attack me with the red. I will handle it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, right, by the way, I forgot, like, totally. Uh, actually, no, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, okay. Yeah, so you. So, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm Yep, that's that's pretty harsh and bad. Like if she denies the first thing you thought about, then everything else will shamble, basically. 
and crumble. <laughs> Did this game just go to poke even more complicated? Oh no. Oh. So we have the red truths and the blue truths now? How the fuck does that work? So you cannot deny blue and I cannot deny red or what the fuck? Uh... <sighs> Why? Maybe it will actually make a game easier? Sonata wa warawa no maho satsujin wo ningen to trick de setsumei suru sai ni ao de sengen suru koto ga dekiru Maybe it will be easier? Warawa wa game shuryou made no aida ni Sonata no ao wo aka ni te hanron suru gimu wo mo Okay, so blue is not the truth. Blue is... And what's the point of blue? If you can counter it with red. And I cannot counter red by blue probably. So what's the point of this? Oh. <laughs> Yeah. しかし青はもう少し厳しいぞ。それ自体が魔女を否定しない限り成立しない。Okay, oh my god. Okay. So blue is basically the truth, but for the butler, like for human side and it will like this approve which is basically every blue statement is definite about denying witches and she can counter it with red but it me but it still means that blue is very like the most important part of his sentence basically okay so maybe this will make this game easier actually because it will like basically highlight important stuff for me Uh, why red versus blue? Well, that's going to be interesting in terms of like a story, but I feel like it's going to be complicated in terms of like making theories. <laughs> I wonder how it will go. It started to get confusing. Yeah, pretty much. But it's more or less something like this. For example, Let's take one of the riddles in the past, when I ask her to repeat something. Okay, explain please. The actual number of master keys is 5. That has been confirmed that they are that they were 5 master keys. That when she uh, claimed there were no more than 5. Uh, okay. But seems that itself wouldn't deny witches, it can't, I can't say it in blue. So in order to speak in blue, I would need to say something like this. The actual number of master keys was greater than 5. Oh yeah, because... Yeah, okay. Because actual number is 5, so 5 is like... Human way of doing, I guess. Yeah, she denied this and make like the claim that witches exist basically with saying that there's five actually. And if he says that like, there's more than five, that means basically denying witches. Unless she counter it and say that it's actually five. But still, what's the reason for blue then? Like, I guess this is just for the player because I don't see any like practical reason to use blue to be honest. 
in this case. Like, if it can be denied by red, and we cannot de deny red itself, then what the fuck? The culprit entered or exited the room with the extra key. Only then would the witch who claimed that it was a closed room murder with the magic be responsible for making a counter-argument. In other words, I can't demand that she repeat something that merely confirms the premises of my reasoning. Oh, okay. I see. Okay, so... Okay, so blue is not... Okay, so blue is very important, actually. So, blue basically let us... Take a real shot on the witch side. And she have to counterattack it with red. If we would say just in normal, like... White... Repeat, there's only five keys to the room. She can just say, nah, I will just say it later. So the same thing with Kinzo. Like, if uh, Butler would say right now that uh, in blue, that Kinzo was missing from the start, from the beginning, then Beato would have to counter, counter it with red. Or, uh, or it would like... Definitely say that it's uh, denying uh, witches. I think that's the reason I'm here. So he can already use it in the Kinzo's, uh, like, situation there. That he's missing already. <laughs> that would probably be significant disadvantage for me. Crap. It's enough to make the red... It's enough to make the red battle used to toy with me until... Uh, until now, look extremely merciful. <sighs> okay, I don't know anymore. <laughs> God damn it. Carino Rega Armi Sritzite Cassetso Tate Soreo Ao de Catatato Stemo Beato Gasoreo Saigo no Saigo de Hite Stekiagatra Urenua Tsino Cassetso Tate Gican Sramo Nete Cotosane. Pretty freaking much. Also, why then use blue anyway? Am I missing something? Okay, I think I'm missing. I think I'm missing something. I'm missing something terribly important here. Like, I don't know. For me, this blue thing, it sounds. It's starting to sound like he's just normal text. Like, Beato can deny it anyway. It's not the truth. And normal text of Butler can also deny witches, like he did up until this point, like he was arguing back with her red and everything. And she can argue back with red against the blue, so blue is basically the normal text of Butler, like... Why it's special? Like, from now on he cannot deny witches in other than blue? Is that what it means? Is this just for is this just for player then? Okay, I th I think I will guys need your help in the comment section. If you can like explain this a little bit easier for me, I think I'm missing something. I will have to like reread this later. But yeah, please let me know in the comments. Like, what am I missing? What's the importance of blue here? I feel like it's co getting the game pretty freaking like complicated, but I'm not sure how. Probably because I will take more attention into the blue text, but still it's just for the reader, I guess. Well, let's continue the game and see, because Umineko likes to destroy my thoughts in the next sentence, so, yeah. Use the blue and show me how it works, please. Yeah, you can create the blue web, like they used it to create a red web. Yeah. Like, she have to deny basically each blue text on each case. Yeah, 
それがダメだったらその時改めて別の仮説を立てるという、yeah. 情けそれじゃあ魔女は追い詰められないじゃあどうやって戦うんだま,まさかええそうよ謎に点で挑むんじゃない面で襲いかかるのよあなた以前のゲームで推理の姿勢はそうあるべきだと自ら言ったわアサードウェブウォール。That's right, I said that myself earlier. Guessing and trying to expose the mystery is like trying to shoot a distant target with an arrow. Until now, I've just been showing off the、uh, shooting off arrow after arrow, asking the witch if I scored a hit. And then, preparing my bow once again, once I'm told that I've missed. There's no way I will hit at that rate. Bullets might be the better example than arrows. If you take one shot after another at the distant target with a handgun, you probably won't hit it easily. So, how can you hit it? A handgun doesn't like, work. Use a shotgun! God. <laughs> wow, okay. Instead of a single bullet, beat her down with a shot comprised of countless projectiles at once. Shot scatters, so it impacts a wide area. That makes the optimal for shooting small, far targets like birds. Are you sure? I mean, it's spread pretty much. That's right. There's no rule that says I have to guess like a pistol shooting one shot at a time. Making a single theory and just hoping that it hits is no better than stopping your own thinking. So, you are telling me that I have to create episode 1 theory, volume 2, chapter 2. Or something like that. God damn it. Blast away with a massive number of bullets, of guesses, and make them impact like a wall. So that the only that the on so that only one of them hitting the target is enough. Oh, なるほどな。お前の赤き真実が切れ味鋭い日本刀みたいなもんだとしたら。オッケー。いや。火力で魔女を蜂の巣にする機関銃だぜ。オッケー。下手な鉄砲数じゃなんとやらか。Okay. <笑> そなたらしいそうやなたとえよ。推理小説なんかのクライマックスはいつもこうだった。名探偵が容疑者を一堂に集め、たった一つの推理を披露して、それを華麗に当ててみせるんだ。まるで一本の矢で見事に林檎を射
But does it mean that can be like multiple truths for each episode? Ugh. God damn it, Umineko. I love it. My blue truth, which claims that humans and streaks are uh, are what's real. Will po willpower. Uh, will over will overpower its target. The illusion told by the witch. Uh, with its fire power and take force of what I can imagine. This is my Shiromiya Butler fighting style. <laughs> now you need some booze and you will be even better. You will be like Master of the Drunk. Drunk blue. どう <laughs> <laughs> when he starts to use it, I believe I will understand what's the purpose of this. I mean... He don't need blue to make this shotgun type of attack, okay? Just tell her, her in, like you used to up to this point. Tell her one theory, then tell her another theory, and then tell her another theory. You don't need blue for that. Okay, is he going to use it for Kinzo case? Okay, let's go. Kono Aoki Shinjitsu. Oh my gosh, Chosre. Zain Yaribai Garu Kara Major no Hankoshka Ariana to you, Major Setsua Uchikunaki. Okay. Korega or no Shinjitsu. Yeah, that's what I thought he was said. I think he was saying blue. Yes. Yep, pretty much. Kono no no Yes, that's what we established in the previous episode. Okay, and why the blue is significant once again? Oh my god, I... It's 20 minutes episode. This is 20 minutes episode. God damn it, Kiria, stop talking, please. This is 20 minutes episode and I will be annoyed by blue for the next at least half of an hour. Ugh. I would ask on Discord right now, but I don't want to spoil the episode. I will just give them like a little bit of hint about what the next episode will be. And maybe, I don't know, something funny will happen. Probably will. But yeah, let me know in the comments section, like, I'm missing something. I don't see real significant significance of the blue. I don't know, maybe it's because I just woke up and my brain is still not operating as it should, but... I don't know. Later in the game, maybe if he used like it several times and we'll have like a counter with the red, then I will like know about this a little bit more, but... For now, it seems like it's just normal text. He don't have to use it in blue. It seems like it's just for me to have his like piece of information noted and keep it as something important. Because blue can be denied, red cannot be denied. It's like hard fact. It can be uh, taken around like we did now. Like the red fact is there's 18 people, but Blue said it's actually 17 plus 1. 
But we cannot deny there's 18 people on the islands. This is just a hard fact. And blue is not the hard fact. Blue is just a statement that denies witches. Which you can use normal white text for this. What kind of weapon is that? Yeah, I'm getting annoyed. Seriously, let me know in the comments. つまり、お父様はすでに亡くなっている。しかし、遺産を分配したくないクラウス兄さんがそれを隠してるってね。Yes. <laughs> That's weird. And Krause is like... Yeah, that's true. <laughs> baka baka si. So, so this. Baka baka si ni mo hodo ga arimasu. Kore hodo no bujoku wa hajimete desu. Watashi tachi wa keikan tachi ai no moto de kyousei teki ni sono seishi o tashikameru koto sae kano yo. Ne, Eva ne sa. <laughs> wow, if, if I was like, holy shit, Kiri, you are evil. So, you, Nisan. Hanashi wa nan to demo de chagerareru. Nisan ga dai sansa no tachi ai no moto ni oto sama o menkai sase na kereba nara nai jokyo ni nante. Kanta ni o zen date ga de kiri wa? Also, can we all agree that if I was like, what, 30, 40? Around 40? And she looks damn good. Demo, so they were Ushiromiak and Totte, Totemo Fumeo Nakota Tomo Nakara Tashiva Konotea was stayed. Sevanin no gimu to Sekinin. Maichi no sai no penalty. Koreo showed up to Kreba, let us touch your auto somehow.無理やり引きずり出すなんて真似は控えることができる。ああ、そうだぜ、兄貴。さっき言ったじゃねえか。兄貴は世話人として当然の義務を果たしてるってね。綺麗の条件は大した<笑> そんなにも気になるのかな。それともなに？お父様が自然死以外の理由で亡くなるような心当たりでもあるのかしら？いや、that's also, I think I will be able to like focus a little bit more on Omineko cases and try to make some notes and maybe theory about episode 2, episode 3 in like next week on weekend. This week is pretty busy, but next week should be fine for me to like record some episodes and then like at the evening just sit down and reread some stuff. So maybe I will, yeah, in the next week I will try to do something. Maybe not like record proper theory, but like start making some, some things basically. この疑惑は私たちお父様に面会させてもらえるだけであっさりと解けるわ。ここまで私たちに侮辱されてもそれでも面会は許されないんですか？クラウス兄さん。お父様は多分すでに亡くなっているわ。おそらく遺体は極
Like Kraus is either the main culprit or Kraus. Oh, uh, and Natsuki. Yeah, we have to suspect Natsuki in this case as well then. I'm sorry everyone. <laughs> but it's again a pair. Like we had uh, Rosa and Maria in the episode 1 like I thought. Like I think that's Rosa and Maria as like main two that are like started everything. And Kraus and Natsuki might be two that started episode 4. And they just like hired someone who actually disposed the body or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, Natsuki. You're overreacting as usual. そこ退場なさい。二度と当家の指揮を Oh, okay, so that's why. Okay, so that's exactly the same case this year, okay. I see. Okay, so that's exactly the same case お父様がご機嫌斜めなのは事実でクラウス兄さんが世話人としての責務として私たちの面会を拒んでいるのだとしたらそれはとても立派なことよねいやしかしそれはタイトルなら私の出した条件を飲んでくれればこの場は収まる
and exactly where she was prepared to compromise. セワニンの責務についてのお覚書。Okay。私に。その保証金を支払えと言うのか。Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Basically bribing him and blackmailing. これはおかしい。保証金はエバさん、ルドルフさん、そして<laughs> this is the money that they wanted actually, right from the beginning. 手付金としてその1割の3億円ずつを Yes. Yeah, this is exactly the same as the thing. Like, yeah, we had the, exactly the same talk basically in the episode one. But they're executing it differently this time. Yeah. ケツケキンの9億円だってクラウスさんの財産状況ならなんとかなるはず。それこそお父様に借りることだ。ボロウェットフォーダーレップ。知らじらしい演技は不要よ。冬会と。I <笑> お父様の遺産の話だけでも十分不敬だというのにお父様はもう死んでいるお父様はもう死んでいる。I want to put him a, a meme here. I so want to put a meme here. 主人がそれを隠していて財産を独占しているもううんざりですあなたたち全員にもはや後ろ宮を名乗る資格などありません落ち着いてや、夏井さん。みんなももう話はこれまでや。どうや。この場の話は一旦ここまでにせんか。希望がでかい上に唐突な話や。わしらも興奮してるところがあるかもしれん。Hideyoshi the MVP in the voice of reason in the situation. ここは一旦休憩を挟んで頭を冷やさんか。yeah, she's such a cool uncle. Klaus Nissan Nimo Choito Jikanga Hitsio Yaro. Na Klaus San Jikon Son Nomono Nose Watoshini Hitsio Nono Kame. Mama, Mama, Mama. Everyone needs time. Washira Kate Honeja Busuna Kotona Kangaitora. Do Stemo Oto San Yawas at the Morayan Kara. ちょいと嫌味が言いたくなっただけなんや。それにクラウスさんが売り言葉に買い言葉で頭にちが上ってしまったのもよ。分かった。オッケー。クラウス兄さんかって本当そこまで言うんだ。合わせてやってもいいと
親父を説得しようそれでどうかねそうねクラウス兄さんに説得の時間を与えてもいいと思うわそうだね頼むぜ兄貴俺たちに会ってくれるようよく説得してくれ何しろ親父の世話人なんだからよやっぱその説得だけど今夜中って制限を設けさせてもらうわよ。Oh. 明日になったら、私たちは書斎の扉を打ち破ってでもお父様の安否を確認するわ。Oh, so basically, like, at, at the end of the game, we'll know if Kinzo is actually dead or not. それでいいわよね、兄さん。Also, now I think about this. This is the first time when somebody suggested. To actually go and check on Kraus uh, on, uh, on Kinzo outside of episode one when Genji and Natsuki went together and he was missing. In every other episode, the group never saw Kinzo. Like, they never went to that study outside of episode one. Huh. Skinny s r u n a i I just treated him like he did not exist. Not for all. Set to Xramotai stage can walk a carina yoda. Not he, Iko, Semite Bansan, you are going to stay to the crew. Only my most young. Hi. Okay. Kraus left the parlor of Natsuki. Once their footsteps disappeared, Hideyoshi took a deep breath,、uh, uh, smirking and flopping under the sofa. Ah, everything according to the plan. <sighs> Kirie san, Anta Osoroshi. Oh, yeah, she is. Oh, she is. Yep. Katena Kuchida Shoshi to Gomena Sai. I am Arva. Yeah, yeah. Toshu no Kaka Kuni and Akata, or it's me Katadaga. Kikawa Jojo. Yep, your original plan wasn't very good, if I remember correctly. I can't. お前ってやつには頭が下がるぜでも9億円も用意できるのかしらクラウス兄さんの財政状況ギリギリで 7.5 億が限界と私たちは計算したはず、so、9億はさすがにふっかけすぎじゃない無理なら無理でいいのよクラウス兄さんの顔を立てて 7.5 億に減額とかやれば情報下っぽく見えて収まりやすいでしょ yes, true. 本当に9億出てきたなら大成功だし兄さん今頃夏日さんと作戦会議中でしょうね Yeah Well this is like the basic bargaining strategy Like you want always to suggest more So you will get actually the price that you want あのプライドの高い兄さんがどんな言い訳をしながらヘリクツをこねてくるか本当に見ものだわお父さんを説得できるわけがない There's no way he can convince someone who isn't even there <laughs> Oh and we had a laugh And we are back at Kinzo's study <laughs> 兄弟たちも年に一度の親族会議にそれぞれの都合を合わせてやってきています。And Kinzo is not here. Kraus looks kinda concerned. And he's talking to someone. Kraus and Suhi could be seen in Kinzo's dimly lit study. Every Once in a while, thunder could be heard and the dimly lit the room flickered with the light. Wow. I want to see, see this. Like, I can imagine this, like seeing this and some creepy like, person in the corner of the room just being like flashed with the thunder and wow. It seems that the island would be closed off by the storm very soon. Otosaba. So Kinzo is alive according to them.
Okay, Kinzo is alive, but for them, like, other don't know it. Right? This is like very weird way of thinking in Omineko. Like, you have to... Like, delete your thought about, uh, like, as a reader, and think as the people on the board. This is so weird. Like, you can read the story, enjoy it, and, like, have more understanding, but at the same time, you got, like, tons of false information about what actually going to, what was actually happening. This is so weird, and that's why it's complicated for reader as well. I love it. The large shadow of a person standing by the window, his majestic back facing them, answered quietly, t quietly and forcefully. He hung his head and shook. Eventually, they could hear a mumbling laugh over his shoulder. <laughs> Oh, episode one, uh... Oh, wait! The voice! The voice! Episode one ending, when we had, like, a text with three, uh, four different laugh types. This is one of these types. So Kinza was alive in the episode one. Yes, I'm, like, kinda obsessed with analyzing the laugh. <laughs> laugh voices, basically. But, yeah, crackle, 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 it, it appeared. In the episode 1 ending. So, if Rosa was actually in it, Kinzo was also in it, so Kinzo and Rosa worked together? It would also make sense because, like, servants, they are like serving under Kinzo, so it would make sense that they plot something, but why together with Rosa then? See, I am analyzing my episode 1. I wonder if it can apply to other episodes. I would have to like... Yeah. Oh my god, I, I'm getting into the mood of like actually going into and start analyzing Great Truths right now. But I know I have stuff to do, so I won't be able to like really sit down to this for now. God damn it. He sounds like Butler. <laughs> Three months left to live. An almost finished geezer. To whom exactly are you referring? What the fuck? <laughs> Why he looks like... What did you take? What kind of mushrooms you took? What are these eyes? <laughs> As Kinzo turned and brushed his cape, it flashed forcefully through the room, stale air. The air pressure pressure truly signified signified signified, goddammit, Shiremiya Kinzo majesty and will powers it itself. After being blown back by the wind, it wasn't strange that Kraus landed on his butt. As though showing consideration for Kraus, who looked as though his legs had been swept out from under him, Natsuki also crouched down. Also, now I think about this, I forgot about one more thing, yes? About, like I said, no one saw Kinzo actually. Outside... Or wanted to see Kinzo. We had a one instance when we saw Kinzo, and it was Natsuki. Natsuki and Kinzo talked in the episode 1, I think it was episode 1, and Kinzo said to her that she's like Ushiro Mia at heart and everything. Hmm, maybe Natsuki is in this as well, actually. Then, we had Tank. Tank. Kinza footsteps approached it with a heft that signified signified his dignity. What is this epic scene? 
カノンに聞いておるわ貴様が弟たちにどれほど情けなく手玉に取られたかをな There's a cannon Comes very close to him, we all know that I suspect cannon from the episode 1, so Like being into this as well Like most of people on this island are actually in this But why? Like, what's the reason? What's Kinzo's plan? Why he's doing this? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I have no motive. Apparently, finding the motive in Umineko, what I heard, is the most difficult thing. Apparently. <laughs> And the most people solve Umineko in around like episode like six or seven, something like that. If you don't like, you know, going back, analyze stuff, rereading, spending hours of analyzing things. Without lending an ear to Natsuki words, Kinzo extended his palm to Kraus collar as the latter sat on the floor. No, he curled his fingers, leaving only his pointer finger out. Then, that fi then took that finger and pressed it up against Kraus' collar, twisted it, and slowly, with just one finger, picked Kraus up into the air. What? <laughs> Okay, uh, how does it look in manga? I wonder if, like, he's, like, for some reason, like, inhumanly strong and, like, picking him with one finger off the ground? Or he just, like, you know, just, like, picking him up, like, a little bit, like, you know, like, huh? I wonder which one is it? If he, like, took him off ground and, like, what the fuck? Kraus clapped at air. Kinzo brow uh, finger was choking him. He couldn't even open his mouth, much less talk. However, even if he had been able to open his mouth, as he was now, there was no way he would be able to fake up an excuse that Kinzo would accept. Still, how could this power be described? No one would call Kinzo an old man after seeing his superhuman strength. So he actually put him up, like, take him out of the ground. Okay, what the hell is Kinzo? Okay, I'm not even going to ask who is Kinzo, like, what the hell is Kinzo? <laughs> like, this is not normal. Or losing. Wait, what? Wait, what? Why not? Oh, okay. I see. <laughs> huh. At the road, Kinzo laughed heartily as though nothing could be more pleasant. And when he finished laughing, he threw his son away like he was scrap paper. Scrap paper, slamming him against the wall. What's with his strength? What is this? What was that? <laughs> yeah, you cannot kill someone like that. Like, that's like, what? Kraus slid down the wall, rubbing his throat as free in pain. Natsuki ran up to him and looked after him. But uh, without showing any interest in the two of them, Kinzo returned to a space near the window 
as though he had been there the whole time and looked up the thunder clouds of misfortune. Okay, we are having this backstory again, like his reason. Yeah, basically having no regrets after meeting Beatrice is the thing that basically driven his whole character for the episode 1, 2 and 3. Like in the episode 3, I think. No, in the episode 2, he at the end, like, played the chess with Beatrice and he was okay with that. He met with her. Or was he disappointed? There was like. In one episode, I think in the Tip Money, there was that Kinzo was actually not happy with the outcome and he died. Maybe it was in the episode 2, actually. So maybe a assumption was wrong. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we have confirmation of Kinzo being actually alive? Because if he meets with everyone, that means he's alive, right? Okay, this is different from every single episode that was up until this point. Holy shit! Okay, I could kind of expect how the episode like, 3 would go on based on episode 1 and 2 experiences, because every single episode have like pretty much the same base. Episode 4 is actually very different already. That's changed a lot. I wonder, okay, I wonder if this is the... Okay, I think what he's going to do is going to unannounce basically what we had from the letter in the previous episodes. Like in the previous episodes we never saw Kinzo in this situation and someone else had the mystery letter which unannounced the game basically. And now it will be Kinzo himself who announced that, so there will be like no doubt that this is Kinzo's doing. This is so different already. This is so different, it opens up so many things. And closing many things as well. Oh my god, I love this game. That's so good. Oh, oh wow, we like fast speeded two hours. Okay. Oh, hello, Maria and Rosa. Flow in with Maria. I guess this is like after the... We'll see this actually in the next episode, because I'm ending the episode now. <laughs> but I assume this is like the place where Maria would get the umbrella and the letter at this point. They just came back from the outside. That would be the case in the previous episodes. If this is the case in this episode, we will see in the next episode. Yeah, episode phrase is weird in Umineko. <laughs> anyway, that was good. It's, I feel like 
the game might get complicated, but also might open more like roads to actually solve it at the same time. Also, yeah, clarify for me in the comment section about the blue text. Like, put it simply. Put it in the simple, uh, like simplest way. What I should think about the blue. Because I don't see reason for use of the blue, like I said before. It feels weird to me. Like, blue can be denied by red. Red cannot be denied by blue. That's how I see it. So, what's the reason? Like, she could like deny Butler with the red anyway. I think this is just for the reader. Maybe I'm wrong, so... Please let me know in the comments about this, because it's going to be like crucial information. This is like, understanding the blue is the crucial information basically. So yeah, I think that will be it. That's all I have to say about this episode. Ch like a lot changed and a lot will change. So I'm looking forward to episode 4. I can already see why you guys love episode 4 so much. This is so different from the previous ones. And yeah, I guess that will be it. So thank you for joining, for listening to me. And I will see you in the next one. So for now, Pocket Watch is going out.